Okay, so it is our last morning at the chill house, which I'm sad about, but I'm actually moving in with a new roommate. Thank you, Lisa. She's adopted me now. We actually, we were gonna adopt her yesterday and then she ended up getting a room, so she didn't need to stay in ours, but we're gonna be roomies for a few days. Um, and then my mom actually comes on the third. I had kind of mentioned that, so I'll be spending some time with her, but I'm just gonna probably be getting work done the next few days and getting all caught up with that. And Megan, please. We're gonna be away from each other for a whole month. What are we gonna do? I don't know. right now we're gonna be moving to a new place and I'm gonna miss this room at the chill house so we've just decided to set up shop and basically work we're at the chill house we're actually staying next door um, the owner was so nice and he got uh, Lisa a room there so I'm just staying with her because they're actually full here if you guys are wanting to come to Chengdu and find a place that feels really safe and homey and has good food two pools they have daily yoga classes here that's included in your room um, along with I think breakfast is included in the room as well so I cannot talk enough about this place but yeah we're just gonna work away so i probably will not vlog the rest of tonight but i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so welcome to lisa and i's little humble abode um we have been staying here for last night and then we're also here tonight and then are gonna move somewhere i think in changu we are gonna just like book an airbnb or home away but we just got ready because we're gonna go to potato head which i actually haven't been to yet it is in semniac um and it's another just like fun sun bar sunset spot um kind of like the lawn there's also finn's beach club so there's like a few sunset spots you can go to i don't know how great the sunset's gonna be it's kind of like overcast but this place has a really cool walkway. It's actually just next door um, to the chill house, but the chill house was full, so we ended up just staying in this little spot. Okay, so Lisa and I have headed to Potato Head. I've actually never been here, surprisingly, for being in Bali so many times. First time, but it's a really good sunset spot. I'm just so taken in by everything. Is this like a hotel? Yeah. Oh, hotel, okay. and then it's like a music bar. It's like oh, fun, okay. Just bumping over there, oh, we're walking away from the music. I feel like I'm like on a Disneyland ride. So we have made it to the beach. First initial thoughts on Potato Head. I actually don't like it as much as the lawn. It's a bit more crowded and more like clubby as Lisa described it, um, which I can totally agree with. But I think we're gonna go up there and get a drink. The sunset does look really nice. Um, Seminac Beach, there's a lot of garbage, which I was kind of, kind of surprised about, but it's still very beautiful. I think we're gonna eat. I don't think we're gonna eat here. Are we gonna? No, no. Probably, we're probably, yeah. I think we're craving tacos. I know.
okay. <laughs> Last footage you guys saw was uh, when we hit up in Mexicola, no, Motel Mexicola, such good food. Honestly, that place is a huge party. That was like a Sunday night and it was wild. Friday, Saturday, probably gets even crazier. Um, highly recommend it though if you are in the Semniac area. Basically, we went to Old Man's after. I said I was gonna go home and do work. I didn't go home and do work. They just kept like bringing tequila shots over. So anyways, we ended up at Old Man's. Um, we were there until about like four in the morning. Half the group actually didn't make it because when they were actually on their way there in a scooter, in a scooter, on a scooter, um, one of the girls had her phone in her hand, was mapping it. Someone stole the phone out of her hand. They basically tried to chase the guy down, but like didn't catch him. That was a bit of a bummer. Three of them ended up going back and not coming at all, which kind of sucked. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some work done, maybe get some food, and I will catch up with you guys later. We have made it to Sister Fields. First time actually coming here. This is right in Seminyak Square. Um, the prices are like a little bit more expensive than the other places, like an Asable here, for example, is 110. Whereas at Sh Shelter, I think it's like 80 or something. And Lisa. <laughs> also, too, um, the cab driver was trying to rip us off because he was like, no, I don't have any change. And we're like, well, we don't have any small bills. The cab already, like, the meter was going up faster than a normal cab because basically if you don't use the Bluebird taxis, um, the meters are kind of rigged and so they go up really quick to rip tourists off. And so the thing was 30000 and we only had a 50 and he's like, no, I don't have any change. And then we're like, okay, if you wait here, we'll go get change. And he's like, okay, I have change. As a tourist, you tend to get scammed sometimes. Not always, but you just have to like watch out for that and only take Bluebird I got the polenta fries, uh, banana bowl, acai bowl. We have decided to get a massage. I actually, uh, well I've had one massage while I was here. Last time it was a little sketch, um, but we went to a bit of a nicer place. And so it's cost, so it's like 110 for a full massage. She's getting a uh, Balinese massage, which is like $11 for an hour, not too bad. And then I'm gonna get a foot and a hand massage because I'm literally so full for dinner. I think if anyone tried to like push on my back, it would not be a good time. Massages were very nice, but we've made it back to Costa Hostel and we have a little sampler platter basically of all their food and some juice as well. So we're gonna eat and then just get some work done. But the outside of this hostel is so cute. We're gonna take some photos here in the morning because it's just like the decor and everything is very fun. We got our main courses, some chicken saute and some green curry. Good morning, everyone. So I'm currently battling with the fog. It is actually so foggy this morning, um, but we're just grabbing breakfast. I was up till about 4 a.m. last night, 4.30, trying to get a video out, and yeah, it was just very late, and then we got up at like 8. Um, I'm actually going at 10 o'clock, or just before 10, to go visit a manufacturer in Dentisar. Um, I have a meeting with a lady there, so I'm bringing like my samples and patterns and that kind of thing, so. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna get eat, hopefully get some coffee, wake me up, and then continue on the day. I'm gonna be going, I think, at like two o'clock to go pick up my mom from the airport, so that's really exciting. Thank you. Um, I get you sharing oh, plates, yeah? yeah. Okay, so we got all of our food. They brought us a nice little mix of stuff. Okay, so I've just showed some of my samples. So I have made it to Dentsar. Um, I just had my meeting with a clothing manufacturer. It went well, she's gonna send me all the information in an email. I am doing a full documentary on this whole process that I'm hopefully going to release in like September is the plan. But I'm gonna go back right now to Costa Hostel, pack my bags, and then we're gonna go shoot one thing today. And then I'm gonna go pick up my mom, but I'm waiting for a Gojek. It's honestly so cheap to Gojek here. It costs like 15, or it was like 30, Thousand, which is like three dollars to go on like a 45 minute drive into town. We're currently back at Motel Mexicola because we're getting some photos during the day. It is absolutely beautiful here during the day. I've seen a bunch of photos on Instagram and it looks really cool. This is where we were the other night um, when we had a bunch of tequila shots and margaritas and it was a lot of fun. But we're gonna shoot, I'm gonna show you guys where. There's the lovely Lisa and we're getting separated today. So sad. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a photo right here. As you can see, it's just super colorful, super nice. There's a lot of really fun areas to shoot in. Um, so if you guys wanna get cool Instagram photos, come here during the day and then come here at night to party. I can pick you up when you're heading down. When it all just sucks, I'll be your Charlie Brown. You can make me laugh when I wanna cry. In a world gone mad, we're on an all-time high. And it wouldn't be the same with
same hotel Mexico is a lot of fun. This is just a, um, a Tuesday afternoon. We just finished eating. I'm actually gonna go get a Gojek right now to go back to Costa um, to get my luggage and the driver's picking me up. I'm sadly saying goodbye to Lisa for now. Um, I'm hopefully gonna meet up with her and there's another girl named Raya here. Um, Raya was here is her Instagram name. 